What's up everybody, it's right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we're going to be talking about a newsletter that just released. It is on audio sounds and weapon sounds. I know that there was a lot of people that were complaining about the previous sounds update because I remember them sounding very samey and there was a lot of people in my comment section that were really like complaining about it. So let's see how they actually improved on it. If they actually took feedback into uh, consideration here. If you would like to hear the previous sounds and what they used to sound like, I'll have a link to the video up at the top right. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it here. We're going to start with the introduction. Hey everybody, we're back with another volume of our bi-weekly newsletter for Ready or Not. In this edition, we'll be focusing on some of our updated weapon audio, which we've been working on over the past few months. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, there have been a lot of people that have been complaining about the previous weapon sounds, so hopefully they improved them with this update. Oh, and read till the end for a little hint at the future. Oh, I sure will. It continues on to say, updated weapon audio, glass crunching underfoot. Well, snap, they actually fixing that? So every time that I would step on something like that, it sounds like there's always a dude like right behind me. But anyways, exposed electrical wires, sirens reverberating through walls. Sound is an influential part of any video game experience. Aha, as I stated in one of my previous videos. And ready or not is no exception. Our sound design team's goal is to create an immersive and authentic experience that lends itself to the sort of tense situations players will find themselves in. Every sound effect has to contribute to putting the player in the moment. Weapons are no exception, and our sound team has been remaking and tweaking existing audio to make it feel more impactful and powerful. That's one thing that Ready or Not is kind of missing at the moment is like atmosphere, you know? You want the game to feel alive. Like if you're walking past like dripping water, you want to hear that water. You want to hear the way that it bounces on your helmet, bounces on your clothing, maybe hits your boot. I don't know if they're going to go with that in depth, but it would be nice. Or as they say, hear electrical wires and walking on glass. So it's kind of cool that they're doing that. Let's push on here. We've been listening to feedback from from supporters regarding our last weapon audio preview, as I stated before, and we've continued to iterate on elements that didn't feel right or fit with Ready or Not's atmosphere. Below, we've included four of the weapons whose audio we've reworked from the ground up. And then it says here the 870 MC, the G19, the HK416, and the M9A1. These were obviously guns that were announced in previous updates. In case you missed them, I have a whole playlist. You go check it out. So the first one that they're going to be starting off with is the 870 MC sounds, and it's a video. So let's go ahead and listen to it. I'm gonna start it in three, two, one, and go. Oh, that sounded nice. Ooh. Definitely sounds a lot better. Does it only fire two at a time? Just curious. Uh, I like the cool animations with the reloading and also you could check your ammo. Pretty nice. I think that sounds a lot better than what I remembered. Underneath the video, it says the 870s MCS in action. Now with extra boom. Yeah, I could definitely tell. Moving on to the next one, we got the G19. Let's see what that sounds like. I'm going to start it in three, two, one, and go. Ooh. Ooh, nice reload sounds. Ooh, ooh, that sounds really good. Check in his mag. Doesn't sound too bad. Sounds a little better, I would say. Underneath it, it says the G19's updated weapon handling. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot better. Moving on to the next one, we got the HK14 sounds. Let's take a listen to that bad boy. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Although, I will say that the... The reloading sound kind of sounds the same from the previous weapons. Hold on, let's rewind it here. Start again in three, two, one, and go. Yeah, it definitely sounds better. It's just the, the reloading sound sounds basically the same as the M4 and the uh, scars. But yeah, not bad, not bad. Underneath the video, it says the new HK416 firing. And it definitely sounds a lot better. Just hope that they change up the sound of the weapon when you're reloading. Moving on. Up next is the new M9A1 sounds. Let's take a listen. Ooh. Real crisp. Real crisp. I like it. Sounds more like a weapon now. Nice. Underneath the video it says, The M9's new firing, handling, and reloading audio, and it definitely sounds, looks, and you know, seems a lot better. Each of these weapons have had their sound effects optimized and tweaked multiple times, and in the coming weeks and months, we will continue to adapt our gun audio to make sure that every single firearm has the same power and weight behind it as its real-life counterpart. When a player pulls the trigger, they should feel the impact that comes with it. Not, not only the recoil and the bang, but what results. You can't take back your shots, and you can't give back the life 
have taken. Very good point. Use your judgment and only pull the trigger when you have to. Every bullet counts. Very interesting. In conclusion, that brings us to the end of our 13th edition of the Supporter Development Update. With an in-depth look at some of our newly improved weapon audio, keep an eye out for more to come from the team in our social media in the near future. And we'll see you in two weeks. I mean, they were a little late this time, but you know, not a big deal. Like a day late, dollar short. So yeah, we'll look at the time. So it seems as if the video hasn't hit eight minutes yet. So to extend the video, I am going to compare some of the weapon audio to the previous one that we've seen before to extend the time of the video. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm only able to really compare two, the uh, Glock and the shotgun. So this is what the Glock sounds like from the previous update. And this is what it sounds like in this update. What are your thoughts? Do you think it's better or worse? Let me know down below. The next gun that we're going to listen to is the shotgun. So this is the previous one. And this is the newer one. I think that the shotgun is definitely a lot better because you can really hear that boom, you know, that the weapon makes. It sounds very intimidating, this is my opinion. But uh, yeah, they hint at something in the near future. Get ready for next week. Does that mean that we're actually getting an update, like an actual playable update? Because they're showing a picture of uh, Knock Knock, you know, the battering ram. About to freaking break my door down. Who's going to pay for that, right? You know, some people were saying that the battering ram was from the previous trailer and they actually did a side by side and it's actually different. So here's another crazy idea. What if they're redoing the previous trailer into their modern version of the game? Wouldn't that be amazing? That'd be kind of cool, to be honest. But anyways, that seems to be the end. It's a relatively small one, again, but smaller than usual. Hopefully this means that they actually have something to show in the next week, at least to supporters, not everybody else. So we'll definitely see. But yeah, what were your thoughts on this update? Was it relatively short for you too? Or is it just kind of like, you know, it's just another update and uh, hopefully they'll show some more PVE and maybe a more updated version of PvP because I know there's a lot of people that actually do play PvP. But yeah, that's where I'm going to end it. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Raider Nut, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know. You might find something that you like on the channel. Stick around. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.